Okay, after you're done with the design, I'm going to show you how to create a video presentation in Pool Studio. What I do is I first come up here to the check mark up here, jump to finalize phase. Open that up, click on video mode right here. Now I've already entered in some pictures, some different display motions all the way around, but I'll show you essentially what you do is you get you get the 3D image. You do want to make sure that everything is unhidden um, to where you can see the roof and everything like that. You can always go up here and hit unhide all and that way everything would be uh, to make sure that everything is showing the way it's supposed to be. Um, so right here, let me show you around the screen. Right here is your overall length. This right here will allow you to preview the video. You can stop the, pre uh, stop the preview and then right here once you're all ready will allow you to create the video presentation. Now when you first come up all you're gonna have is a blank thing and you're gonna you're gonna show uh, sorry none of these pictures will be up here I added all of these you're just gonna see just this camera but every time I click on this it adds a new screenshot that way and, and you can always come back in here and reposition let's say that I want to put this one right in here um, so that way I would jump from this scene to this scene to this scene. Now I don't want to do that so I'm going to go ahead and hit delete. Now that takes it out of there if you ever want to. So let me just kind of show you where I started with this overall project. I started here. I always try to find a good view that the clients will like. Something that kind of gives that glimpse of the, the design. Kind of gives them that awe-inspiring scene um, that will really get their blood moving and get them excited so get this one and then when I do after I click on my very first camera here it'll say move right away but what I'll want to do is actually click on hold position when I click on hold position it's going to have a default in there of five seconds I want to change that to probably around three if you just click on this right here and you can change that to three um, and just hit enter because uh, otherwise five seconds every second adds up and it gets to where it's just too long of a video if you pause every time for a full five seconds and the clients will get bored um, so anyway let me show you exactly the different positions that I took around this property to uh, to create this full video so I started here inside their little courtyard area and then the next one it's gonna say move and I zoomed out a little bit and I went straight up to give an overall aerial view. Now let me show you. So if you click on the left mouse button, that allows you to rotate the picture uh, and go up and down. But you can't zoom in or out. But let's say we want to get a little closer. You click on the right mouse button and that allows you to zoom in. So if we want to just come in here and show a, um, um, a close-up. Now how I also centered that up was if you click on an object, let's click on this tree. Oh, Sorry, I clicked on that tree and it put me in the middle of all the trees. I have all these trees grouped, so it kind of grouped me in the middle there. Let me click on that fire pit. If I click on that, it allows me to focus and I can zoom in on that one particular object if I want to. So that allows me to stay focused and then I can make sure that I, if I want to, I can make sure that I, I can be uh, centered up with, with an object if that's what I want to do. So. So from here, then I went to the overall, the overhead, so that way they could really see that there's a design layout to this whole property. The pool was real rectangular, so I kept everything very linear. Um, the first design, the homeowner also wanted something that was low maintenance and no color because uh, they, they didn't want bees in their backyard. So I kept everything green. He also wanted everything uh, layered. He wanted multiple layers to create dimension in the landscape. Um, so that's kind of the overall look. I wanted to make sure that they saw that there was a master plan. This is a beautiful $200,000 plus backyard. They're going to want to make sure that there's a full tie-in to everything in their yard. So I wanted to make sure they saw this view. You don't always have to give a, an overall aerial viewpoint, especially if there's great big trees blocking the whole thing. You want to make sure that the points that you show them are of interest. 
um, and especially focus in on things that the clients might have mentioned during the initial meeting. Make sure that you showed them that we paid attention, that we included all of those little details into. Like say if they wanted to make sure that they had a gravel border around their house, we wanted to make sure then that when we that we would show now there's not but we would want to make sure that we would line up so we could show them that there is a gravel border all the way down there um, this homeowner in particular asked for a uh, trellis vine all the way around their archway it's a beautiful archway they wanted to accentuate that opening so i wanted to make sure that multiple points that we showed that different thing they also really asked for privacy around their um, property because this house next door is so much higher than theirs. I wanted to show them that we took that into consideration that we're blocking those windows even though as you see that house is sitting significantly higher than, than their property here. That's also why I put this house in here so they can see that that we included their privacy concern and a major concern of ours as well too. So back to where I was at. So I went from here then I decided to take them around to the back side so they can again get to see the, um, the whole perspective of the property. They also wanted to make sure that they included a gate or a pathway to the gate. So I want to make sure that they saw that. Um, just kind of then getting a close up of the backyard. Showing the privacy. Kind of showing the outdoor kitchen, showing the patio. We've got to move across the patio to show the gravel pathway the homeowner really wanted. Making sure they saw how nice and clean this whole utility area was and how easy of access it's going to be for uh, for them or for um, this is probably where a decent amount of their guests will come through. And then just kind of ended it right here because that's where the design was. Now after I'm done, usually what I'll do is it'll automatically put hard cut in there. So what I'll do is I'll come to fade black. Uh, you don't have to do fade black, but but that's that's an option. Instead of just just ending, it gently fades out black. Then all you have to do is hit create video. It'll then go through and render the entire project for you. It takes a few minutes and it saves it. Uh, you can after it's all done saving, you can go to here and view project location. From here then after you did it there would be a, another file labeled video um, and from there you just click on that and it'll be right there and we can take it from there.